about this hop that I lose my day off. The military has requested us to arrest a witness who's at a black market weapons sale taking place at Nihama on Pier N3. Apparently the weapons were scheduled to be scrapped by the military but were misappropriated. Shouldn't we put a leash on him and see where he runs? The important thing is that he's the subject of an investigation. Make sure you extract his memories and find out who's backing his shopping spree. Regarding the current peer situation, it's believed that a substantially large armed group has infiltrated the site. You want me and Bato to do this alone? I'll have Ishikawa back you up. Pass information to him for analysis as you get it. I doubt that you'll have any trouble with the Major, but the operating systems at the pier are pretty old. I'll send you data piecemeal. Tokus, keep an eye on military intel. Roger. Saito, back up the Major from the water. Roger. Pazu and Boma, check out any groups you suspect are related. Roger. Roger. Now get up there and start earning your pay, people! Roger that. The military's moved up in the world. They got us cleaning up after their messes. Let's have them owe us one. Spoken with the related bureaus. Complete your mission before the ship leaves. Roger. This is Togusa. I pulled this info from the local cops. The pier security was hit by a sneak attack 48 minutes ago. And the security system was overwritten. Enemy forces seem to have the pier under their control. Understood. Escape aboard a freighter. There isn't much time before it sets sail. Hurry! We'll have to go in through the multi level warehouses. Look around for an entrance. Unit ID records confirmed. I worked it so that ID data in the enemy cyber brains can be displayed as positional data. I've seen that pattern somewhere before. Crap. 
Commander, your cyber capabilities, Major. I think you can forge ahead. You should be able to obtain the hacking code for the transfer crane from the terminal inside that area. Try to find it. This will let you work the crane. It's a pattern code that runs along path A3. Okay. Executing crane boot up. set up the same way. It's probably faster to find a new infiltration route.
Activation authorized. See the crane. To cross into storage area number two, your only choice is to use that crane. Seems like the enemy makes regular patrols in this vicinity. mindset seems to be one that branched off from wartime design principles. This is positive. I checked out the 13 primary smuggling organizations, but none of them used toys that they got from the military. I also checked the Northern Territory's activity, but the chances of them being part of this are slim. You see that ship below you? It's imperative that you take care of the suspects before they board it. Extraterritorial rights apply aboard ship. Even we can't touch them. I'm involving various agencies, but there's no time. Understood. Pazu here. There's a freighter moored at the pier. She belongs to a distribution company out of Etorofu. According to the papers they submitted, she's hauling scrap metal to a recycling plant in her home city, and her ports of call are Nihama, Kamaishi, and Etorofu.
You can use the crane now, but try not to be a sitting duck when you cross over. Scared, I'll head over and save you. Nobody asked for your help. Major! Saito here. Jameson type suspect confirmed. He's on the Harbor Control Center roof on the opposite shore. Major, we're running out of time. Hurry up! What is the target? Looks like you need operation authorization to work the elevator. Don't jump down just because it's a hassle. From this side, even you'd be in trouble, Major. You'll be able to use Pier 2's elevator now. There's somebody besides me that's linked to the satellite. It's probably snipers. It's an anti-cyborg precision sniper rifle. I saw one once at a German arms show. It's an old model, but nasty. It can penetrate even a titanium brain case. Records show the military took them on a trial basis. That's probably where they got it. There's too great a risk of coming under attack by a sniper who's perched up high. You'll have to think up another plan. If you had the sniper's hacking key, you might be able to use them to your advantage. A commander-class enemy should definitely have a hacking key. It's probably best to begin with them first. There are enemies on the roof. We need some intel. Obtain information on what they're trying to do here.
When the hell did you get in here? are being erased? There's someone else besides me who's accessing this guy's cyber brain? <gasps> Attack barrier? Who's the peeping Tom out there? suspect in the Jameson type body that the Major apprehended was put to cyber brain death by an unknown assailant. After reconstructing his fragmented memories, we determined that the man was Takaru Fuwa. Wait, you mean the victim of the university murder case five years ago? Correct. What the heck is a guy who's supposed to have been dead for five years doing in Nihama now? Pazu uncovered records indicating that Fuwa had hired a courier to deliver cargo of some sort. Verifying as we speak. According to current reports from our intelligence, his present location is between the 21st and 24th floors of the pier parking garage. Bazo, infiltrate the garage with two touch clumps. Intercept this courier and take him into custody. Roger. Okay, kids, I'll come at him from below. You two come in from above. Roger that! Just leave it to us! The security system inside the parking structure has been overwritten by someone. I need to track down the perp so we can't rewrite the system yet. Exercise extreme caution. Yeah, yeah. Bato, what's your present location? En route to level 21 in the parking garage elevator. I believe that multiple hostiles have infiltrated the parking garage. Don't let your guard down. Roger. Rock and roll. That elevator's out of commission now. Use your own two feet. If you get a parking pass for level 22, the gate should open. Look around for a terminal. Ain't exactly what I call convenient. That's what they get for playing with dangerous toys. They're tightening security to buy some peace of mind. What matters is that nothing's stolen. Anyway, it looks like this one's been overwritten too. Now, 
boss man. We'll just have to make do, won't we? Tashkoma, how's it going up top? I'm engaging the enemy! You'll have no choice then. See what you can do on your own. Roger. case five years ago. I was lead detective on it back when I was a cop. Only a prosthetic body with a blown apart brain case was left. Hmm, so the death had been faked. Get a parking pass from this level's terminal. That'll open the gate. That should enable you to head on up. same group from the pier. They're being controlled by orders sent from higher up. Take out the commander and they'll be mere puppets. It's the same thought pattern as the group on the pier. It's AI? I could sense a ghost. A puppet with a ghost, huh? I feel sorry for it. Can't I use the hacking key that the Major used? It appears to be set up so that the commander in each area controls just the AI in his own unit. Hacking keys are individually assigned. It should be easy going if we can use the enemy to our advantage. You'll have to play it by ear. I knew it. There are signs that the security control program was overwritten. This thing was hacked pretty deep. From what I can tell, it would be faster to control it from the server. The server? Where's that? Level 24. Hey, boss man. If you better not pick me up, make sure you don't do it by falling down. I don't want to hear anything from you, kid. If you run into the enemy there, there's nowhere to run. Proceed with extreme caution. It's fairly likely that there are surveillance cameras on level 23. See if you can enter through that terminal.
It looks like you'll have to go back down from this level. Fetch coma status. Major! But there's too much in the way, so I can't go any farther! Then come up with something. Information on the number. That's the one, all right. I guess he's an underworld delivery man. Give him enough money and the guy will deliver anything for anyone, from a single postcard to a kidnapped person. He was paid a pretty hefty sum two days ago. Try to follow the money trail. Already on it. Fua hired him. The money was deposited from a terminal in the Tohoku region. So they were trying to use a delivery service to ship misappropriated weapons. Open the cargo and we'll have our answer. Bottle. Take a look and see what's inside. Roger that. Okay, will it be the tiger or the lady? What? Rice? <laughs> Still got company. gone. See? I told you we should have hurried up and gotten here sooner. What? It wasn't my fault. It's because you
You're being stingy with the grenades! Yeah, but if we ran out of them, we'd be in really big trouble later! Whatever. Just make sure you come quicker from now on. Yes, sir! About the rice you secured inside the garage, we've ascertained that it's micro-machine rice that's primarily exported abroad. Why was Fuwa carrying this grain and not weapons? We'll have to investigate and find out what the implications are. Torissa, you head to Nihama Yu and reinvestigate that five-year-old Fuwa incident. Right, Chief. Gotta do my homework over, huh? Fuwa and arm smuggling. And now micro-machine rice. So far, we found the individual points, but there's still no hint of a line that connects them. Based on the trail of money from the Tohoku region, along with the records of Fuwa turning up in Nihama, I checked the IR records limiting the search to that region. Fuwa is shown standing in the Nihama station of the Tohoku linear rail. At this point, he's not a Jameson type. And for the past seven years, Fuwa has been renting a storage unit. I'd say the odds are good that his prosthetic body is stowed away in there. Major, head over to the warehouse and check whatever it is that Fuwa left there. Understood? Roger. With this much humidity, optical camouflage is pointless. This is the Major, now carrying out mission. I'll come give you a lift when I'm done with my little errand. You will, huh? I'll be waiting with low expectations. Verify Takeru Fuwa's belongings inside the warehouse. Roger. Among people in the Even if we shut it down, we can't backtrack the ghost. The local cops haven't wasted time either.
The warehouse door lock mechanism is controlled from that terminal there. If we give it the personal authorization Fuwa recorded when he signed the contract, we can pinpoint the container with the cargo. I'm starting my Nihama University investigation. A university in the spooky dead of night was the setting for a murder? Ooh, it's kind of like the old haunted school bit, ain't it? Come on, would you lay off that stuff? Authorization confirmed. It's a definite match with Fuwa Cyberprint. About Fua's enrollment records, they've been semantically filtered. It's possible that they were intentionally deleted. Bounce the records over here to me. I'll analyze them. Such a structural analysis! Tachkoma, don't you guys have more important things to do? No fear, Mr. Ishikawa, you have all the fun! When I used the authorization code to the major attack, some secret files were They were probably hidden away in there by Fuwa five years ago. About that authorization just now, it matched Fuwa's cyberprint. Pazu here. I have confirmation of multiple vehicles heading towards the warehouse. Prosthetic bodies of the same type as the ones from the pier were inside. Saito here with confirmation too. Must be enemy reinforcements. I'll try to slow him as much as I can, but I can't cover him inside the warehouse. Okay, we'll come up with something. About those records Tokusa forwarded, there's a possibility that they were forcibly deleted from the outside. 54 points of similarity to the virus confirmed at the pier. More than likely it's the same type. I tried each and every terminal, but besides this no other records of Fua turned up. Records don't only exist in terminals. I'm starting to wonder why I scouted you from Police HQ. Understood. The virtual cyberprints left in the prosthetic bodies were identical to the Jameson type. It had to be Fuwa himself. I'll check out the memory box. Looks like it's encrypted. I'll decrypt it over here. Boma, give me a hand. Roger.
You say something? No, nothing. The Tohoku Autonomous Region was an installation where scientists were to be evacuated in wartime. It's currently under direct military authority. They're keeping scientists? Yazawa is one of the scientists who fled to the region in response to a summons issued by the military. He's still there despite the dismantling of the installation. Do you think Fuwa and Goto are connected to this too? It's a possibility. What is he doing in a facility like that? There's something fishy about this. Here's a satellite image of the region. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary dam. It's probably being camouflaged with a visual barrier. I did some checking via the net. They've got an independent net set up, and access from the outside is prohibited. Major, you and Bato infiltrate the autonomous region and make contact with Yasuo. And me? I'm told that Toshimi Tagami, the region's director, is in Hanamaki. Your assignment for the time being is to find out what Tagami has been doing there. That's your role in life, little man. I'm not saving your butt even if it gets hit by a stray bullet. The monorail that connects the autonomous region is only used to transport authorized personnel. Toshimi Tagami is scheduled to return to the region tomorrow, so use it. Can't we go in with a tilt rotor? It's half dismantled, but it was a military fortress. If it's still functional, chances are it's more than capable of shooting down aircraft. A little outing on the monorail, huh? I'm gonna have some fun to make up for lost vacation time. I got a great view. Everything's upside down, though. No movement from the regional director? For the moment, there's no sign that we've been spotted. She doesn't look much like she does in the official records. Think this is psychological warfare, too? Publicly, she's the director of the Autonomous Region. But in reality, she's nothing more than Kei Yazawa's puppet. The dam's coming into view. We ought to be feeling the jamming barrier any minute. The dam's interior is inside the interference zone. Our cyber comms will go out soon, too. You're right. Otto, what happened? Mr. Otto, the railroad is accelerating internally! This isn't good, Major. We're gonna plow right into the station. If we don't get out, this will turn into a steel coffin. I know that. The motor control program is being rewritten from the outside. You mean they know what we're gonna do? We don't have time to alter the program. You escape from the touch coma. What are you gonna do? Ah! Major! Crap. I guess we're inside the jamming barrier zone. So there's something that they're willing to go to this much trouble to hide, huh? Major, do you read me? Chief? 
Hi, Jeremy, if you read, maybe respond. Unable to confirm that the Major is receiving. A signal jamming barrier is making Cybercom traffic inside the Autonomous Zone one way. She can probably receive a signal, but it might be difficult or impossible to send one. Send out as much encrypted information as you can. I'm sure the Major will notice it. Understood. That's my chief for you. Autonomous Region Charter. With pride and duty in our hearts, as citizens of the Tohoku Autonomous Region, utilizing the knowledge fostered by our ancestors as the essence of hard-won technology, the goal of our mission is to strive for peace in this world. Item. We shall cultivate strong bodies, hearts, and profound knowledge. Item. We shall build cities where the ideal of heart touching heart may be found. Item. We shall utilize remarkable knowledge and technology to restore world peace. I guess they won't let me scroll on. There are no activity records for Yazawa outside the Autonomous Region. It's believed by many that all effective diplomacy with the TAR is conducted by Toshimi Tagami, the Regional Director. You think the Director's a part of Yazawa's group too? Togusa, when you arrive at Hanamaki, I want you to find out what both Tagami and the Tohoku Autonomous Region look like. Understood. Any word from the Major? Not yet.
Togusa here. I picked up some information about a monorail accident in Hanamaki. Users are restricted, and since the accident happened in the autonomous region, the local police don't want to get involved. Then I guess I won't be getting back up anytime soon. Encrypted mail from Section 9? Aramaki here. Yazo was in our surveillance net, and we know his location inside the autonomous region. He's in a room in building E3 in a residential block. Understood. What do they have that runs off the lifelines inside the region? According to the data, there's a working power plant that utilizes underground water pipes. So as far as energy is concerned, they're doing okay. As for transportation, a monorail links them to the outside world. And inside the region, a mini monorail is linked to the residential block, education block, and office block. And as for a vertical transportation agency, they built the incline. If their maintenance was any good, the thing just might be operational. After all, it was originally a military fortress built to operate independently of the outside. If it's booted from an administrator terminal, it should work the way it was intended to. So this means that they must have a standalone lifeline. In that case, there is not much of a chance that it can be severed from the outside.
The lower fields? You erase them and nobody can find them, huh? Apparently I need to find out a bit more about this man Yazawa. I think I'll take a look around the opposite bank. Section 9. Bato, status report. What's your current situation? The monorail was hit by a virus and went out of control. It's heavily damaged and I'm clinging to the wall with a banged up touch coma. I can't even hear the Major. You know her, she's probably inside carrying out her own independent investigation. Boss man, want me to come give you a hand? Who, you? Ain't there anybody else? Kazu, Boma, and Saito are currently running round-the-clock stakeouts on people with military affiliations. Consider yourself on your own. Then that must mean you've got loads of faith in us. The jamming barrier from that radio tower is causing a cybercom blackout. Since there's no net link to the outside, the system is probably regulated from the control room inside the structure of the dam. That's gotta be the place where they manage all the information that comes into the autonomous region too. Go to the control room and obtain information on any items that came into the region. Like cargo that has from the military written on it? At the same time, try taking down the jamming barrier and restore cyber communications ASAP. Roger. Jeez, that's an awful tall order for a guy to do all by his lonesome. These guys got some nasty toys. Mr. Bato, Mr. Bato, let me sneak in! You're busted up from the shock when we escaped. Be quiet and stay out of sight. But if you get into trouble, I'll come a-running, okay? I'll be waiting with low expectations. There's a tower that extends beyond the jamming barrier. And there will likely be more enemy forces than you've encountered so far inside the dam's bank. First things first, deal with that gun turret in front of you. Roger! I can't believe they've even got a monster like this thing. That's the ultimate Tohoku fortress for you. Guess I'd better get psyched up. Your number one specialty is playing rough, eh, Mr. Bato? Hey, I may not look it, but I'm a delicate guy. Well, I can't say that I don't enjoy it. Shutdown confirmed. Readouts indicate jamming barrier coverage decreased to 87%. Encrypted files confirmed. That's some serious encryption. Forward them to me, I'll try to decrypt them. to run in the investigation corridor keep in the enemy's blind spots.
Files confirmed. Starting six months ago, the amount of freight coming into the region jumped sharply. According to the records provided by intelligence, that corresponds to the period when the misappropriations began. Find out what was inside that cargo, on the double. Looks like it's designed so that thing opens and shoots out water when the dam is in operation. Sealed off. Is there another way around to the opposite bank? That's the only one. All right then. Guess I'll look for a route. It 
is damaged worse than I thought. The dam was built before the war, you know. Still, it was built with the latest methods back then. I don't think it'll be that easy to destroy. That's the radial gate for the low-level outlet works facility. The terminal's working. You can operate the radial gate from the control room. some weapon intel files that were left in the terminal. These guys even have a military anti-tank helicopter. Anti-tank? Yeah, Jigabashi.
If the jamming barrier goes down, the truth of what's going on inside will be exposed to surveillance satellites. I expect the enemy intends to defend the radio tower to the death. Then the resistance is going to get fiercer. Mr. Mato, I'll come ready as soon as I'm done with repairs. So you try to hang in there by yourself, okay? What are you talking about? I'll have this wrapped up before you get here. Training grounds at the base of the dam, huh? I'd say they pretty much just unmasked themselves. Major, do you read me? The jamming barrier's down and the cybercoms are back online, so why does she... Is she lost and crying somewhere? I can hear you. What the hell? Where are you? I'm right underneath your feet. Yazawa? His house was empty. I'm on my way to the office block to try my luck there. Is that okay with you? Contact with Yasawa. He's out in the lower fields, apparently. Lower fields? That's what was written on the door of his empty room. Where are you? There's an office that was occupied by the regional director in the office block. I'm on my way there. I see. That works out well, then. Obtain the rice-related data from the terminal at the Autonomous Regional Citizen Center, located in the office block. Regarding that micro-machine rice that Bato found the other day, the configuration of it was a dead-on match for the rice that our friend Fua tried to deliver. This leads us to the assumption that he brought that micro-machine rice out of the Tohoku Autonomous Region. Therefore, the storage of this grain has to be somewhere in that region. Find out where it's being stored. And I want the complete background on the weapons that flowed into the area, too. Roger. I'm gonna go on ahead to the base of the dam. I saw something there that looked like a training ground. If you could also clean out the place, it'd be a big help. I see the entrance to the office block. Talk to you later. Gotta go. Now commencing infiltration into office block. Roger that. It feels as if somebody's anticipating our moves, and I don't like it. I think you're right. But we may be able to outwit the enemy because of that. What's wrong? Nothing to worry about. I'm going in. There's been a lot of dismantling in the office block, even for the autonomous zone. There are also points where it's easy for the enemy to attack. Proceed with due caution. Roger that. Major, bounce me that virus that was planted in the monorail. I'll check it out. Will do. By the way, I did some checking on my own, and I found that it's not very... I'll dig into it a little deeper.
elevator should work now. Hmm? What's wrong? Somebody's following the tracks left by your hat, Major. Tracking? Major, do you remember Nemuro? As in the Nemuro landing operation? It's not hard to ID someone from the way they breach defenses. There's only one person capable of tracking you, Major. Just to be sure, I'll trace his whereabouts after the war. Good idea. scrapped military weapons. When I presented the evidence to the military that they still existed in the autonomous region, I was told that they began considering a troop deployment. They're always looking out for themselves. By the way, about that micro-machine rice that Fuwa had stockpiled. That's the one piece in this convoluted puzzle that I just can't get to fit. It doesn't add up. Based on my inquiries at agriculture, forestry, and fisheries, they're reluctant to give a straight answer. Seems there's more to this. There are always two sides to things. You get to the truth after first learning the situation on each side, don't you agree? application file in there? You know they say that M.M. Rice was developed four years back by the Agriculture Ministry's research agency. Ishkala, check along those lines too. Roger. further along than I thought. Try to find out whatever you can. Roger. There's trace evidence that this terminal was used to hack a last-generation military database. This must be the military ID that was used. Ishao, run a match. Roger.
major about that military ID from earlier? It's got a connection to the Nemero landing operation. As I suspected. This ID matches the unit commander of the 7th Special Forces Tactical Unit from the Nemero landing operation. 7th Special Forces? As I recall, there were Special Forces in which his trademarks were psychological and cyber warfare. The name of the unit commander was in the middle of the world. I think they called him the Kuno or something of the sort. I'd heard how he died during the landing operation. In the enemy behavior patterns that we've detected so far, there are 121 out of 134 points of similarity with the choreographer's personal overwrite program. It's almost certainly something that he wrote himself. Maybe he survived, laid low in the Tohoku Autonomous Region, and got mixed up in this case. You think that the choreographer is back in Yazawa? Probably. Continue your investigation along that angle. Roger. What's the deal? An encrypted channel? Is there something you don't want to tell me? Exactly right. This block was renovated by the workers who settled down here. That's why we don't have any accurate map data on it. Use your own two eyes to verify things as you proceed. Major, that grain is micromachine rice that was developed by applying Fuwa and Goto's research to a rice strain called Riku 131. Yazawa created it back when the autonomous region was a military facility. You're saying the Agriculture Ministry's research agency was made in the autonomous region? Conjecture doesn't amount to proof. He's shallow, combed through every single... <sighs> the channel is being forcibly tuned. Can you hear me, my good police officer? Only I am able to transmit via this emergency channel, so I'm going to take the liberty to speak to you. He had a net set up on the terminals? I am Eichi Goto. Kei's honorable ideals are being tarnished because of a traitor. That is something I will not stand for. Over there? I have a favor to ask of you people. You've detected my location, I take it. Come here, hurry! If you don't... I'll be erased by... <laughs> You'd better hurry up. I was contacted by Goto. The signal was coming from the training grounds control room. I picked it up here too. Looks like I'm the closest. During his career, Goto developed independent theories not only on joint engineering but micro-machine technology as well. His ideas never became mainstream, but it can't be denied that he's a man who had a profound impact on the scientific research of the day. The enemy prosthetic bodies we retrieved from the pier were retrofits based off of commercial products. Even our redcoats back at the lab couldn't make heads or tails of technology backed by Goto's theories. Bato, it's imperative that you track down Goto and make contact with him at once. In addition, we need to get the entire lowdown on the enemy, collect all the records that are stored at the training grounds. Roger. You want me to play hide-and-seek in a place like this with some old man? You're the closest, aren't you? All right, all right. Hmm? Dummies, huh? Well now, I guess it's time to do some cleaning. Based on the findings, it's fairly obvious that intensive training was conducted here. 
Hey, Bato, want me to record the results of your training? What do you think? Knock yourself out. When Fuad and I realized we had been betrayed, we attempted to stop that rat. It was for that reason that Fuad went to Nihon by himself. If we don't hand over that rice, terrible things will happen. Death, I concluded that the perfect time would be when that thing was returning to the autonomous region. I planted a virus, but when that failed, it was over. I had no other cards to play, no aces on my sleeve. I must tell them. K is.
Do you read me? Jeez, what's with the encrypted channel? Have you seen Yazawa's ideals? Yeah, that's what was sent to Section 9, I have. I'm learning that Yazawa's underlying rationale might be surprisingly close to our own. Huh? That doesn't sound like you, Major. I sensed something. That was just a memory. You sure you didn't catch a nasty virus or get hit by something? Well, I guess that's not possible. I'm gonna go snoop around the office block a little more. Meanwhile, I'll leave Goto's detention to you. Alright. It's not safe here either. Please hurry! Inviting? If Fuwa and Goto really were the ones who... something on the Agriculture Ministry Service. What is it? I'm forwarding you 27 emails. They sound like blackmail letters. Blackmail? All of them say things like, stop the lies, tell the truth, and disclose the truth or you'll pay the price. When I ran a trace route on the email, I followed it to its origin and wound up in Hanamaki. Good. Stay on the Agriculture Ministry, Boma. Togusa, go through the files relating to the M.M. Rice in Hanamaki again. Don't overlook anything. Something's got to turn up. Roger.
The armor piercing round from behind. He wasn't shot very long ago. This is it. Who the hell is that? Hmm? Huh? No way. Bato, did you manage to take Goto into custody? Yeah. I found him, but he was a stiff. And not a very talkative one at that. Understood. We'll meet up below. Roger. About the blackmail letter sent to the Agriculture Ministry. One just like it was confirmed at the Home Affairs Ministry. However, police intervention in the autonomous region was declined in this case. They claimed the cops couldn't get involved because it was strictly a military matter. They're fighting over turf again? They're always trying to save face over the stupidest things. It most likely means there are some facts they want to keep a lid on. Locate the entrance to the underground facility and identify whatever it is that's down there. What do you mean, whatever it is? Whatever! Mr. Bato! Hey, could you try to make less noise around here? We are on a mission. In this case, I'm attempting to lessen the tension during combat as much as possible. I was just thinking of the mental state people are in when they're alone and lonely. Hearing their names called out by someone they know will calm their nerves and lift their spirits. That's not how I feel right now. Oh? See? They must have mistaken the ruckus for a festival and come to join the fun. Let's go, Tachkoma. This must be one of those blood fests. No, it ain't. The military has decided to deploy troops. Hanamaki's garrison will take them in and the rangers will deploy from there. The military has issued a request to Section 9. They're asking us to secure the training grounds in order to ensure their safety when they land. While they sit back and watch the fun? Given the circumstances, I want the military to owe us a favor. Not much a choice. Mr. Bato, let's make some noise! I can't 
verify production anywhere outside that. I mean, pinpoint Earth King ship too. I'm working on it. Does this mean that the development method for such rice has been exported abroad as a product? With the demand for an obscenely high pack. to put the fire out now that they know sparks could fall on their own damn heads. They should have come sooner if they were going to. Huh. Hmm? An Oniyama? Don't tell me they've got one of those too. Crap, if it's not one thing, it's another. Pandora's box just opened. That enemy chopper is an assault helicopter that the military uses as a personnel transport. As long as this and the AA cannon are watching the airspace, the military can't send in reinforcements. Major, Vato, neutralize them immediately. What's the choice of weapons they can have in its cargo bay? If they have armed suits, it can carry up to four. The ones that we used before during that sniping system testing didn't have that capability, though. External neutralization? I don't think it can be done except by a direct link from within. I'll have to get on board, then. Well, that's a royal pain, isn't it? As long as that's buzzing around up there, we can't sneak into the underground factory. I'll act as a decoy. You will? There's a handy toy by the entrance. An anti-aircraft cannon. I'll draw the helicopter away. While I keep him busy, you try to get the hacking code for that cannon. Understood. I'll contact you as soon as I have the code. Major, I can trust you on this, right? Trust me? Never mind, it's nothing. Let's do it! Okay. and a cafeteria in the assembly building. It's been delivered there for the past three years. If it's good enough to satisfy a politician's stomach, it must be super delicious rice. Chief, there's military movement. Our surveillance target from intelligence is on the move. I'll tell him. The anonymous bank account suspected to belong to the surveillance target just ballooned.
Chief. I detected a virus code for a cellular suicide program in the M.M. Rice that Fuwa was carrying on it. That's tainted rice. There's a virus planted in it. Any vaccine? Including verification in only 30 hours. Even if I had the virus source code, it would still take about 16 hours. Which means he's got potential hostages. A new blackmail letter has been confirmed by the Agriculture Ministry. In it, they're demanding that the country recognize the Tohoku Autonomous Region as an independent state, and that the rights to micro-machine rice revert back to the Autonomous Region. The deadline is 24 hours from now. If their demands aren't met by... Sorry I kept you waiting, Major. Confirmed. Send me the control codes ASAP. Thank you. 
cannons destroyed. If we fight him with the weapons on hand, it'll take all day. I'll drop. Don't do anything stupid. Me by my first name, okay? Geez, you had me worried. Will you just be more careful with your life? Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Because the worst is yet to come. the records the Major retrieved from the helicopter to devise an infiltration route into the underground facility. There are two underground installations. One is set up to research M.M. Rice and the other deals specifically with weapons. This threat posed by the tainted Rice has turned this case into a potential hostage situation. The authorities have called an unofficial meeting, but many are saying that the virus is just a bluff on the part of the autonomous region. This faction is demanding that they launch an assault. Now that the anti-aircraft installations are neutralized, the calls inside the military for an airstrike are growing louder. They want to erase everything, don't they? I bet that's what they were after all along. Our mission is to smoke out an invisible enemy who's lurking behind this terrorism at the same time we're trying to prevent the terrorist act. Perhaps there's two people who know the whole story behind this. It's either Kei Yazawa or Regional Director Toshimi Tagami. Take both of them into custody and track down any records that can possibly be used as evidence. Roger. I'll take Yasuo and Takami. Bato, you handle the factory. Sure.
What'll come out, the tiger or the lady? Shall we open it and be surprised? Why not? From here on out, we're gonna split up and act as two teams. Time is short. Listen, I... Hmm? Uh, forget it, it was nothing. It's do or die time. Let's go! The deeper you go in the mine shaft, the less reliable our cybercons will be. We'll relay you information via the Tachkoma. Tachkoma! Seal packing key. We'll find another route. Sorry.
Okay, you should be able to head down. There's a terminal nearby. Look for it, okay?
them doing it. That's why we don't have enough info on this. into interior. Bato, you ready? No cybercom reception down here, apparently. Cybercom signal from the Major was cut off. She must have reached the bottom of the shaft. We surmise that the Tohoku Autonomous Region has military power on par with the small country, so we cannot overlook this state of affairs, and the military may initiate an airstrike. Gather as much information as you can and make it back alive. Roger. That's gotta be the underground factory. That's one serious mousetrap. I don't have time to circle around. So I better get moving then. Apparently they've got response type sensors set up that are linked with the security system. Move carefully. I gotcha. facility like this got built without being noticed. They must have a system that can provide a huge labor force by using illegal workers. They get hooked with the promise of good wages, but then they're brainwashed and put to the grindstone for nothing, huh?
The entire cache of the Tohoku Autonomous Region's weapons might be stored here. Destroy the activation program and put them out of commission. Roger. Recycling plant. It's like you thought, Chief. They had secret ties to a smuggling group. Their prime dealing partners are countries in Central Asia and Africa. They overlap the MM Rice export destinations. But shipments suddenly stopped. Nothing's moved these past three months. That overlaps the period of the Agriculture Ministry's blackmail letters. Which means that since then they've been gearing up for a big party.
stockpile of weapons was what they needed to declare their independence then. Even so, the difference between their firepower and the military's is night and day. What's going on in Yazawa's head? Tagami is writing the source code for a tactical AI all by herself. with the major. terrorists by overriding the mindsets of the ones that didn't idolize Yazawa. And I bet you that some of those became raw material for puppets with ghosts by ghost dubbing them. their dressing room. That must be the prosthetic body we saw on the monorail. And this one is the regional director's original prosthetic body. Which means that must be her secret treasure chest. 
Hey, it's... Oh, it's you, Major. Look at this. This is Kei Yazawa, the boss of this region who we chased here. He's been dead a while. I'm too late. Huh? Ah! Don't tell me she... Son of a bitch! Visual camouflage? No, it's not camouflage. This is where the tainted rice was created. People may experience the simple and pure joy of true happiness in order for all poverty and suffering to be forever eradicated from the face of the earth. I intend to boldly set out on a road that leads to nowhere. But even if this road should end at nothing, I am certain that those who live lives of righteousness and strength will see before them the path they must take. By lives of righteousness and strength, I mean being aware of clear intent and grand passion with it. Have I reached should end at nothing. I am certain that those who live lives of righteousness and strength will see before them have become detached from this place and been miserably corrupted by the foul influences of the state. It all began with the erasing of our very ex The state obliterated our presence from everyone's memories. It even robbed us of our dreams and ideals. Like phantoms cursed to haunt the grounds where they once walked in life, now only allowed to exist in the shadows of history. Aren't you exactly the same? Take 
our ideals and transform them into a reality of our own terms. It's one thing that we hope for above and beyond all of us, a world in which people like us are necessary. If hunger and poverty vanish from this planet, crime and terrorism ought to be wiped out along with them. Kay dreamed of that, and he disappeared with that dream unfulfilled. Now, the only vestige that remains of his dream is Riku 132. Just and ethical. If you ask me, nothing else is worth following.
only you people hadn't shown up. If you hadn't gotten involved, everything would have gone according to plan and worked out perfectly. What the hell is going on? Hmm? Major? Sure, now I get it. But which one? Both of their ID signals show each to be the real Major. Not much choice then. Motoko! So you're the fake! You're late. Damn. Nothing changes with you. Bitch triggered this place's self-destruct program. We have everything we need. Just gotta get out of here and it's mission complete. If we get out. This really isn't my day, is it? This way's no good either. Man, we're so close. <sighs> What kept you? Let's save the sentimental reunion for later, okay? Yeah, comic antics can come much later. Huh? We're out of here. Oh, jeez. The whole thing is underwater. Looks that way. Simultaneous multiple leaks of the Riku Micro Machine configuration have been confirmed. Thanks to that, the rights to the MM Rice that the Japanese government had a monopoly on are now effectively license free. As for the tainted rice, Ishikawa is working on a vaccine program for it. Wasn't it a utopian dream of theirs to use the Micro Machine Rice to finance their independence? Eliminate hunger and poverty from this planet create a world in which all people are content. And those words came straight out of Toshimi's memory. The copy right has turned into copy left. In a sense, you could say Kei Yazawa's dream has been made into a reality. You think that woman had this plan too? More than likely. It's not easy to understand the love a sister has for her little brother. By the way, Bato, I'm curious. How were you able to tell that it wasn't me back there? Oh, that? Geez, how many years have we been teamed up now? <laughs> Unbelievable. And you'd never turn around just because I called your name. I heard that. Hmm?